All right, hello, hello to all my guys, gals, and non-binary pals out there across the electrical ocean. This is Jazzman, and we are back with another game between uh, myself playing Full Faction Underdeaths, and uh, we've got Hades250 down over here playing Full Faction Centered Lands. And uh, we're recording uh, one of my games because uh, I realized after getting back into the, uh, the commentary game after uh, a while's break that uh, I've actually come to kind of suck at the game. Because, <laughs> uh, well, in before all the comments saying that uh, I've always sucked at the game. But basically, uh, I've been uh, out of out of playing for some time now. So I gotta, I gotta brush up on my skills, man. I gotta keep up my, my reputation as uh, one of the best, worst players of all time. So uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna see how this goes. I don't expect to win many of the uh, these games in my uh, in my foreseeable future, but we'll do our very best. So uh, we'll be facing down the dragons today. Sundered lands. And we went with the temple guard first. It does not bode well. I'm not looking forward to facing a bodyguarded Vindrax coming running out of that font next turn. To Raven speaker for the side font. That is interesting, especially because he upgraded pawn. So basically, when I, whenever I try to kill this guy, it'll get redirected to something all the way on the other side of the map. Assuming he doesn't, like, you know, run a second champion this way. So uh, I think I think for the counter deploy there, we're probably going to go with... I think it's between Flame Skitter or, like, Deep Elf Fire Dancer, really. The thing is, uh, Raven Speaker is a ranged champion, but he can go into melee with uh, Raven Form if he wants. And uh, actually, you know what? Raven Raven form gives detection three, so I'm definitely not going to go flame skitter. Probably going to be yeah, deep elf fire dancer. Uh, Manslayer is really good in one v ones. And uh, I think well, actually, I'm not sure how deep wounds. Uh, hold on, which fully damages? Yeah, that won't stack up because of pawn. So uh, actually, you know, yeah, fire dancer. The more I think about it, the more fire dancer seems like a great choice. Uh, regen two. Uh, I don't have any anti healing to counter that. Are you gonna end your turn, buddy? Like, come on. Well, what are you what are you doing here? I'm not DC'd, am I? Yeah, I always gotta I always gotta check. Okay, I'm not. Oh, yeah, my name is Yellow now in game because uh, I've got I've got mod powers. I was promoted. But uh, yeah, so man, I really hope he doesn't do this every turn. Mm, just running down the clock, huh? So uh, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna talk about Deep Elf Masochist real quick while we're waiting for our turn to commence. A Deep Elf Masochist, I always run this thing when I play UD. I think it's a great champion that Underdeps players heavily underutilize. Just, so this is the thing with Underdeps, like nobody cares about tanks and Underdeps. Like nobody gives a shit. Unless it's an Arrow Eater, nobody seems to care. But when I look at Masochist and even stuff like Under Tortoise and, and you know, Warog, I think, man, these are such great champions. I mean, I know Warog gets a ton of play. I think he's probably one of the outliers in that regard, but I think, Matt, like, Masochist is so fucking durable. Like, tough two, her signature ability, which is basically tough two again. And then, uh, you know, Calcify, so she can't be one-rounded. And she just, and she has decent damage, you know, for, for that for that price range. So, I don't know. I like uh, I like running her. Plus, she's hot. I mean, come on. Like, look at this. You, you can't look at this and say that's not attractive. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna go with, uh, whatever I said. Flame, Flame Dancer. <laughs> so, we're gonna put up Deflect. Because we can. And then, uh, yeah, just end the turn there after getting our font. So, all right, Hades, what are you going to do? Man, it, this should be uh, the reversed, right? Hades should be playing Under Depths, and I should be playing SL. All right, Spell Sword. Spell Sword's not the worst thing in the world. I can counter that. Mm, so we're going to we're gonna get in this font. Eh, I guess it doesn't really matter. He has a regen, but might as well get in the font, make him take four additional fire damage. So we're gonna head on down with our with our fire dancer here, and uh, what do I want here? I don't. Uh, oh yeah, I'm running pure fire. Okay, so I can get around bodyguard if I need to. Uh, don't want to deploy magic damage into spell sword. So we're gonna go with. Hmm. Yeah, manslayer will just get eaten here. I think. Yeah, you know what? Manslayer is not too bad. Once I once I dispel bodyguard, I can just you know stack it up and uh, and two-shot something. Uh, the infiltrator would be nice to bring in reinforcements. I'm just going to go Manslayer. Seems like the best choice. Because he's not going to be expecting Pure Fire. I mean, he might. It, it's possible. You never know what uh, what players are thinking these days. 
So Temple Guard walks into the font, out of attack range, and he's, he's probably just going to sit there until Spellsword gets his rear in gear and uh, and engages the Masochist. I've got to be careful. So Pure Fire does dispel, but I'm thinking, yeah, which... I, I target the... Uh, I target the bodyguard target, right? Not the bodyguard champion itself. I'm assuming that's how it works. And if it doesn't, people in the comments will crucify me for it. So I'm hoping I get this right. But yeah, that's a that's a few turns in the future. I don't uh, I don't even think about that. Serpentor. Ser okay, he's putting scale armor on a champion that pretty much never attacks. Good to know. So uh, we're going to just walk into the fawn here with Fire Dancer. I'm pretty confident in winning this 1v1. Just have to watch out that uh, he doesn't cleanse my blind with Raven form. Mm, yeah, no matter where I put her, she uh, she will get hit at least once. So we'll just, uh, I guess we'll just save AP. And move our Manslayer down. And what do we else? What else do we got here? I think Infiltrator is a is a decent choice. Puppet Master would be okay as well for the Dread. And I always like getting uh, getting Mystic Push down early, so we're gonna go with him. Reduce his spell presence a little, and I mean, I mean, if he wants to use his Temple Guard as an offensive unit, I don't mind that at all. You can you can come in for an attack if he wants to. I'll just I'll just wait there for him. And waste a bit of AP just in case there's a random punishing aura that comes down. Mm -hmm. Five, six. Yep, I'm good. And I just sit. I will just sit. So uh, Raven Speaker will get one hit deflected. Uh, that damage is actually going to be pawned off to, I'm assuming, the Spell Sword, unless he moves it first. But it will prevent damage onto my Fire Dancer. And then, yep. Over to the spell sword, and then the second hit lands. I couldn't do anything about that. Like even if I moved right up here, he just you know back off over here and hit me twice anyway. Hmm. Yeah, but yeah. So th this is this is still probably fine. Like I can flamethrower if he abuses his range. I don't really need to win this to win this fight. Really, I just need to stall until I get another champion down there. And Fire Dancer can do that. She's cheap. Thankfully, he doesn't run Doom on his Raven speakers. But uh, running, you know, any kind of any kind of short-lived versus under depth is just kind of an auto win for me because I can just sacrifice at the end before the duration pops. I think for my second deploy down here, I've got I've got enough guys over here for now. I'm gonna deploy probably a mage arm to uh, to help reinforce this fight because fire dancer can handle the uh, the front line and then mage arm. I am running corrupted cultist with ally forsaken waste. And this is another champion that I feel like under depth players need to utilize more. I mean, loss of life attack is great. He's basically a melee champ. Like the only negative thing about him is his range. Like two to three is just god awful. But I mean, he gets some crazy damage once you've got uh, an ally in play. And Stitch Mage Arm is great. Like these days in, in under depths where you're kind of hurting for range. I mean, under depths has historically always been hurting for range, but uh, Mage Arm is like the buffed Mage Arm is fantastic. You can get uh, some great damage in there. So we're gonna go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go like this. Make sure we get an aura range here. This is gonna get pawned. I'm, yeah, I'm assuming the Judge Taurine is the closest, right? Mm, and uh, you know what? I think I might just put Banner in the font as well. Just, just because it's something else he has to deal with. Because, mm, I, I mean, I can't afford to deploy a champion either, so we'll just, yeah, we'll put Banner down. And then that's, uh, I mean, Fire Dancer has 15 damage. It's pretty good. 15 over onto Taurine. Mm, and we will, we will wait. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna sit there. I could engage, but again, he can Raven form and go into melee anyway. So, yeah, he's, he's using his 7 damage Temple Guard as a as a melee champion, so we're just we're just gonna hit him a bunch. I'm not too worried about Masochist. Alright, for the moment. And uh, we'll move our Manslayer in here. I'm gonna save Execute, actually. I'm gonna save Execute until it's necessary. I'm thinking what he's gonna do now is just back off and then um, bodyguard the spell sword and send him in, like switch him out like that. But that's fine. Like I can even if he bodyguards, he's on 25 HP already, and I have more than enough damage to finish him off. So we'll make sure Dread hits him there. And uh, wow, he's actually not backing off. He's going for the uh, the hits on the Manslayer. Interesting. 
There's no way he gets this kill, right? I mean, he's got fucking eight damage. There's no way. You ain't that guy, bro. Oh, all right. Well, maybe now he does get it. <laughs> he's going to spend 65 Nora on it. And let's see. You can get another 10. And then 21. And then, yeah, he probably gets this here. You can put down a hive or something and a shove. Although, yeah, combat awareness one. Yeah, he's, he's short, actually. Even with... Uh, even with Hive, because combat awareness will reduce the uh, the damage from the bees. So yeah, that's a that's a that's a live manslayer, and I can just sack her off after I finish off that uh, spell sword here. And uh, ooh, thankfully, he doesn't get the uh, the banner cross map kill. That would have been embarrassing. He can't tornado or anything because he is spell locked from uh, from DB. So that was a kind of a stroke of luck. He, I guess, I'm guessing he didn't really calculate that kill. He just kind of went for it, and uh, that's sort of a play you can only do when you're, uh, well, when you're old and jaded like I am, and don't really give a fuck. And you, and you're not, you're not nearly old, as old and jaded as I am, bro. So we're gonna eh, hold on. Let me. Where will the pawn go? Wanna, I only, I only want to get one hit, I think, because he used his bird form cleanse. Uh, I guess original form cleanses as well. Uh, did that hit? Yeah, that hit Temple Guard. Okay, nice. Maybe we can get two kills here. Uh, I mean, original form does cleanse, but it'll force him to spend more AP doing that. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blind him there. And we'll engage too. So he didn't bodyguard anything. Uh, I can get. Yeah, see here, it's a good thing I saved that execute because I can just get one hit, stack up deep wounds, and then execute on the second hit, or a buttload of damage. Damn! 30 damage. Not even I was expecting that much. And 68 Nora for Manslayer, huh? Hmm, kind of crazy. So yeah, we're just gonna dread you guys. He has defensive strike up for sure, so I ah, can't even get those globes. Hmm. Alright, well, we're gonna have to sacrifice her anyway. Because she will not last long. I wish I could have had at least one more AP so that I could burn defensive strike with her, but yeah. Not really a good way around that. I guess I could get, like, one globe. Mm, I, I could get them both, actually, if I use Puppet Master to uh, to do this. And then we'll just move one space at a time. Grab this globe. I'll get punished here. And then uh, use Puppet Master to give Masochist some AP and grab the second. And there we, yeah, we're good to go. So now we'll deploy that Mage Arm like I wanted to. And yep, I've got a good chunk of Nora for next turn, so I'll just I'll just wait. So he's blinded, can't finish off the banner, and uh, Masochist still holding strong even after all that punishment she's taken. I mean that that's basically her go-to, right? She's the Masochist. She loves her punishment. She's a glutton for it, and Taurine is more than willing to dish it out. They they'd make a pretty good BDSM couple, right? I mean. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna go. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that to everybody's imagination. So he's backing off with Temple Guard. He didn't even do anything with his uh, his Raven Speaker. I guess he forgot about that side of the map. Well, Fire Dancer did not forget. So we're just gonna attack him again. Pawn another attack off onto his champions over here. That pawn is really uh, it's not doing him uh, many favors here. So we'll move our Mage Arm along. And, uh, I think I think it's about time I deployed another another champion over here just to ensure the success of that fight. And I kind of want to go with cultist. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna go with cultist. Give our mage arm a little bit of AP. Move in. I'm not in attack range with anything. I do want to engage though. I think. See so if I engage. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna engage here because masochist is fine. Like she's not in any danger at all. She. You can get pounced, I guess. Mm, do I want to counterize? I kind of want to counterize the judge. Mm, just because, like, he's gonna get—he hasn't used bodyguard yet, though. So if I counterize the judge and then he bodyguards, eh, I could counterize the temple guard. Mm. Ooh, I, actually, I could oh, wait. Can I kill with POV? That's the question. Fifteen. And this is 10. Mm, I think I can, because I can, yeah, I can hit with Mage Arm once. 
So we'll just we'll just do that. This is this is the kind of jaded old man stuff that uh, that new players, that lesser players would never consider. So we're gonna hit there. We're gonna hit here. And zap and a zoop. Oh god, I'm too damage short. All right, well I tried. I did I did give it my my all. So he's on two HP. I'm gonna regen it up. Ugh. It does make masochist a little bit more durable. A five HP there. But yeah. It's very clear that I did not that I did not calculate that at all. But can he kill Masochist is the question. He's got Calcify to work through, tough two. I don't think he can do it. Like he's gonna hit Puppet Master a couple times, but does it look like I care? Not at all. It does not. Actually he might he might get it with the banner loss of life from across the map, but we'll see. We will see. So he's gonna get ten. No, not even close. Damn. See, this is, what, this is what I mean. Like, Masochist just does not die. She does not want to give in. We'll, kill, we'll end up killing the banner. But uh, Fire Dancer still doing okay. Deflect is up next turn. And yeah, I guess he could kill Masochist with a spell. But I guess, I mean, I'd be fine wasting uh, with him wasting Nora on that. See, the problem is if he bodyguards Judge here, I'll have to burn Pure Fire to, to finish him off. Oh, he does go for the Tornado. All right. Is he going to hit his own champs? Wow, he hit, like, he hit literally everything. <laughs> so he hit his own shit, he hit my shit, he doesn't, it doesn't matter to him. Hmm, you know what, that POV might have cost me more than I thought initially. i got to get more reinforcements down here, but I don't have the Nora really for anything next turn. I don't even, I don't even think I can deploy Priestess. Nah, might have to go for a Fire Blast here to kill both of these guys. Is he still not going to put up body bodyguard? Come on, man. Okay, there you go. Wait, he's bodyguard? Okay, well, he bodyguarded the Berserker. That's literally the worst thing you could have done. Well, I mean, in, in this situation, there's really no good option. It's just, yeah, I guess bodyguard Berserker is fine. Yeah, 65 Nora. I can't really do much. Uh, I can get... Ooh, ooh. I can get some extra damage here from across the map. Onto that Temple Guard. There's that, and then one Fire Blast will finish off... Oh, no, it won't. Because, yeah, I, I can do it this way. I don't need Fire Blast. Because I can kill... 14... Hmm, I can kill this guy. Like that. And then I'll finish you off like that. Unfortunate... Wait, wait, wait. What the hell... What the hell was that? Dragonic Sacrifice? Ugh, are you kidding? <laughs> uh, Alright, well, I guess I do not get that kill, unfortunately. I'm just going to back off Puppet Master. Um, man, that's... Uh, I mean, I can't do anything about that. I could have pure fired that away, but I didn't know he had it up. So I guess we'll just have to... have to wait. Uh, I'm going to back Deep Elf Fire Dancer out of double hit range that bird. And then eh, his pounce is on cooldown. I think I have to move in one just so that he doesn't block me out of the font, right? Because he can kill the puppet master with judge and then do this and then I'm screwed so we're gonna move in one. Just to wait it out for a bit. And the sacrifice saving his butt there a little bit. But next turn I'll have a bunch of Nora. I should be able to afford a champion and a fire blast to finish that guy off. And then corrupted cultist uh, down here. I, sh I should I should be heavily winning this. Like after this deflect comes in, but oh yeah, it's, it's gonna get pawned off anyway. Ooh, I wonder if uh, ooh, I wonder if he's gonna screw up and uh, if he hits into fire dancer without deploying anything, it'll kill his judge and I won't have to do any of the work. So please, please, please make that mistake. I'm begging. Please, please, God. I don't ask for much. Just my opponent's defeat. Oh, target dummy. Ugh. All right. Well, fine. I mean, you have pawn. Like you, you don't really need. And target dummy is terrible here because loss of life goes through bodyguard. So corrupted cult is very useful. Loss of life in general is a, is a great attack type to have, and uh, especially in under depths where they don't tend to have a lot of like hard counters to stuff. You just kind of have to beat your face against the keyboard and hope your big damage pays off. But uh, yeah, I wonder how that interacts with Pawn. Will it go to the bodyguard or will it go to 
the other the other champion. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I guess we will find out. Mm. Oh, he's at, yeah, he is on 15 HP from deploying the banner, so I can't uh, I can't even fire blast that guy anymore. I'm pretty sure defensive strike is up as well. Uh, and he actually transfigured, really, really. That is one of the plays of all time, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, four, five, six, seven. He might have another DB up his sleeve. Hmm. Yeah, do I want to? Do I want to greed for a hit? I think I want to greed for a hit. I could attack the uh, the dummy, but I want to see what happens with Pawn here, because it might end up in my favor. Nope. Wow, Pawn actually triggered first. Okay, so it goes to his avatar, which you know isn't the best, but it isn't the worst either. And mm, defiling, defiling spinal. Yeah, I'm lumbering too, so that kind of stinks. Guess I could put out a spinal and then try and run, but again, defensive strike. Ooh, I could spell spam. Like, <laughs> uh, I could. Ooh, I could demolish the bodyguard and take that font. Now nah, he just walk in there with mobility. Decisions, decisions. If I dispo, uh, if I demolish and. Fire Blast, that will be a kill. Actually, I could Demolish and Cauterize for a little bit less Nora, but then I won't be able to deploy. Eh, I'm, I'm thinking Mage Arm can survive one. I could always Transfigure myself if I need to. We're just gonna we're just gonna get rid of that Judge. I can't have him hanging around and uh, regenning it up. Eh, yeah, I don't want to hit my own my own Mage Arm, so we're just gonna get the kill this way. There's that, and we'll get. Le Globe. Oh, I was hoping I would have enough for a priestess or something. Nope, no such luck. And uh, he could actually walk into my font here. Ooh, mmm. Uh, but if he, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to transfigure. I'm just gonna put out my slicer down there. Yeah. Just so that he doesn't walk into my font and you know drop a relic here and take it for free. Because transfiguring, like I would be, I would have no way of recapturing that. So. I have to, I have to bite the bullet and drop that relic. Mm. I'm still doing all right here. I think that POV, uh, that POV misplay put me pretty far behind, but I think I'm still all right. And interestingly, okay, so what the, oh man, what the hell just happened there? So this time, Pawn did not redirect it to the avatar. Hmm. Instead, hit the target dummy. Well, that's interesting. So, huh. I have no, I have no idea why the. So it worked the one way the first time, and the other way the next time. Maybe it had to do with like deflect being the, uh, the source of the damage this time. Because I mean, you can't. Uh, yeah, you can, yeah, you can still deflect damage onto avatars. What am I thinking? I don't know, man. This game has some crazy code sometimes, don't it? Doesn't it? But uh, he actually made the, the worst play and decided not to contest my top font. If he had contested the top and dropped a relic here, I would have been very boned. But uh, he decided not to. Maybe he didn't have another relic uh, available, but either way, I'm thankful for that. I think I'm just going to run... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to run for that globe, I guess. Running toward his font is probably not a good idea, but I mean, I can't do much against Berserker anyway in melee, so I just got to try and live as long as possible. Uh, um, hmm. I guess infiltrator is okay. She can she can stall with stealth and paralyze and whatnot. Uh, she's probably and she has some pretty good damage actually for what is what's you know ostensibly like a, a stealthy support type champion. She has really good damage. I'm gonna get a nice flamethrower off here though. With uh, with Deepal Fire Dancer's last breath. Mm, and we're gonna get actually a double hit onto this Raven Speaker. His loss of life goes right through bodyguard. He, don't, he won't die to the aura because of, uh, well, because of a multitude of reasons, but it does put him pretty low in kill range. Mm, yeah, and Fire Dancer's dead here, and the avatars are going to come in. He does win this font in the uh, in the long run, though. It's unfortunate. So Berserker is still chasing down the mage arm. I'm just going to grab that globe and, I guess, hope for the best. Mm. 
wonder if there is man if, if only i were running retribution like i would just i would have this in the bag because i could just kill the raven speaker and then ret onto uh, ardain but i am not running retribution <laughs> Hmm. I think I have to transfigure next turn, though, to run my avatar down into this fight. And Persecutor. Persecutor. Hmm. Mm, charge. Yeah, Mage Arms Toast. Uh, how am I going to come back from this? This is, this is sort of the reason I, uh, I don't really take to Underdepths, is uh, not really good at... Just beating, beating my head against the wall. Like I gotta, I gotta do some tricksy stuff, you know. I this, I run a lot of stealth. I run, you know, run some weird stuff. I'm running darkness. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if that's ever gonna come up. But uh, we gotta transfigure here, get our avatar down. Uh, that does bring our banner off cooldown. Can I do anything with that? Mm. Mage arm is uh, not gonna last more than another turn. So I think I might just take the assault and grab the Nora globe. Cause he's not gonna like he's gonna get charged next turn regardless, so I might as well grab the globe off that. We'll grab that. Walk into the font again. And we will finish off the Raven Speaker. Wait, wait a minute. What the hell was that? Why did Pawn redirect loss of life attack? Bruh, come on. Damaged each round? Like, hello? <laughs> you've gotta be. You've gotta be. You've really gotta be. Okay, I guess I got a fire blast then, because I mean I can't I can't have that thing hanging around. And uh yep. Bodyguard was still up. Shit, what the hell was Okay. Mmm. I, that fire blast was terrible because I forgot bodyguard. But like, come on! Like, why did pawn redirect a loss of life attack? Uh, I'm just, I'm just kind of screwed, aren't I? Uh, cultist is going to, going to die. Hmm. I don't think even putting out banner would save it. Oh, yeah, defenseless. Yeah, he's gonna walk in there and get a big ass melee hit off. Yeah. I'm just gonna save. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna bother putting out banner. It wouldn't save him. Because Raven Speaker is gonna get two hits, and Ardain is gonna get one from range. Hmm. That's that's really annoying to <laughs> probably lose the game to that bug. I mean, I Cultist would have lived long enough to let my avatar get down there. And I don't know. Yeah, I guess I guess that's just sloppy, sloppy coding. No other way around it. I do have enough Nora to potentially deploy next turn. After those, all that dies, I can shadow shift into the font and contest still that way. Hmm. Wonder if I can just. What if I just rush at his avatar and kill it with mine? <laughs> that that would be that would be a nice way to come back from uh, this. Ooh, ooh, I could even I could shadow shift through that through that water. Would he regen up too much before I get down there to kill it? God, I wish I were running Retribution. Ah, uh, why am I not running Retribution? Uh, I can't even... I need to contest with the Relic over here. I think I still have that banner. Um... Yeah, he's just gonna... Nah, I have to contest with Spinal, because otherwise... He just kills the banner and blocks me with Raven Speaker. But then, no, he can't because Pawn, Pawn will uh, hit his avatar and it'll kill it, right? So he can't do that. Like if he, so if I put the banner here, wait, I'm already in. No, I'm not in the font. What am I saying? If I put the banner here, and he uh, he attacks it with Bird and then moves his avatar up, like he's dead. So he can't really do that. Yeah. So I'll just I'll contest with the banner because it's cheaper. Because Pawn will absolutely hit his avatar here, and then I can just, I don't know, cast Acrid Smoke or something to finish. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna shadow shift into this font. Mm, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he contests top. Actually, I'll just I'll just paralyze so he doesn't do that. <laughs> It'll take me out of stealth, but whatever. I can't have him putting a drain on my Nora. Mm, yeah, and that's that's basically all I can do this turn. 
so he's managing to hang in there the uh, with the help of that bug. And, yeah, he kind of has no good options down here. Like, he can't really kill the ban- like, go in to kill the banner without risking his avatar. And then, I mean, I just- like, my avatar is on decent health. Like, I can just walk up. So he has to run, but that'll leave Raven Speaker on 15 HP alone versus my avatar. And, uh, ooh. Oh my god, I- mm, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna jinx it by saying anything, but I have an evil plan in mind if he leaves uh, his Raven Speaker close enough. So anyway, uh, over here, uh, I'm assuming he might have like a spell, like an AoE spell to unparalyze that Berserker. But it's looking... I'm not out of it yet, surprisingly. I'm not out of it yet. Mm, I do have POV. One, two, three, four. Four, and I'll have two, and then POV plus... On 20, that should be a perfect kill, right? Because if I POV, ah, uh, he moved out of attack range. All right. Never mind, never mind. I was hoping he'd go for the kill on that banner. But uh, my POV is on one thanks to Resurgence, so I can do that if I want. Th this is basically my win con here, is hoping Pawn <laughs> redirects onto his avatar. Uh, actually, I can still, oh, I can still do it, because he's, I have one to two range. And then pawn, pawn should do 20, right? SL bonus. Let me, oh God, I'm worried now because of that <laughs> loss of life bug. Uh, so I can move in. So I can hit 22 minus, well, zero, SL bonus. It's 20. And t that means 20 damage should go onto the avatar. Right? Right? That That is how it works? I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's another POV hit. That should be game. Come on. Please be game. Please. Okay, thank god. Oh, no, it's the full 22. That's all bonus. Doesn't even matter. Good game. <laughs> Man, I was, yeah, that was... A, that was a nail-biter, actually, for a while. Well played. So, uh, we'll see everyone in the next one.